Osai. I'm with Joe Wood, and we are in the Tut exhibit, Tomb yes. Common, his tomb and his treasures. Everything's fabulous, Joe. It's remarkable. It's pretty cool. So you kind of start in this immersive portion where you can see what it looked like when Carter found Tut's tomb in 1922. And then out here, it's all kind of up uh, close. now up close and spread out so you can get a look at everything. It's fabulous. I mean, the, the craftsmanship that has gone into these items is unbelievable. But the thing that I don't understand, yes. and I keep looking at this every time I'm in here, what are these boxes and how do they work? Were these boxes actually Yes. Inside. So these are the shrines. So over here, you'll you'll look at probably the most famous artifact from the tomb, the death mask, yeah. which was on Tutankhamun's mummy. Then the three sarcophagi were stacked in one another. Okay. Like um, like nesting dolls. Yeah, sure. But then those were all stacked inside the shrines. So, so that this was in inside the stone this. sarcophagus. Okay. Uh, and Carter and his team had to use a series of pulleys to lift the sarcophagi out of this. But then this stone sarcophagus was inside this series of four shrines, which were wood covered in uh, gold, so we're called gilded wood. These were um, actually built in one another. And then Carter's team had to kind of reverse that process, breaking the seals, and then eventually, you know, putting them back together. Yeah, because I'm looking at this, and Joe, you know, I'm not a scientist, <laughs> but to me, it's like, this looks like a very tight fit. Oh, it is a very tight fit. If we go over here to the last shrine, you yeah. can see exactly how tight, and in fact, the way that we have this display set up, we have it kind of the walls like exploded view, so you can actually get around it and see, because if you didn't do that, you really wouldn't even have clearance to like walk around right it. so you see the last shrine here. yeah so that one was in that one inside that one inside that one inside this one unreal and each shrine has scenes from how the pharaoh would move to the afterlife there's significance to all the inscriptions on the outside but this last shrine here you can see this here that's the wall oh, wow. of the tomb chamber so this is that's how much clearance you have. Oh my gosh. So when they built it, like I said, they didn't lift one down into the other. Yeah. Um, they actually had to build them inside one another. And so this here, this is the wall of the tomb. But of course, like I said, we have it kind of expanded out. So that was right here. So again, if you were in walking around the tomb, not very much clear. How, I, I don't even understand how you could physically, because it's not like there's much room inside yeah. for a worker to work, and there's not much room outside for a worker to work on something like yeah, this. Yeah, so this is one of the reasons why it took them the better part of 10 years Unreal. to actually remove everything from Tutankhamun's yeah. tomb. Um, but yeah, so you know, each of like the seals where you know the, the walls joined one another, they actually like had to take those apart and take the boxes apart because um, there was no way to actually like like I said lift one out of the other. Yeah. You didn't have very much clearance at all. That is absolutely incredible. So when you come in here, yeah. you will see how remarkable this truly is. And then this is what the you inside would have looked there's like. Carter's like diagram that he wrote on the wow. floor. Wow. And you can see the walls of the other shrines and how how tight it is. they fit together. Unbelievable. So yeah. So come check it out for yourself here at COSI. Joe, thank you so much for clearing that up because I have been very confused That's by this. That's probably the number one question <laughs> we get, so I'm glad you asked. Okay, that. good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Good stuff though, guys.